hello guys welcome to my channel uh, today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix error which says there was a problem resetting your pc required files are not trusted the file certificate may be expired or files might be modified by others so if you're receiving this error message when you try to reset your computer so when you go to settings when you go to update and security and when you select recovery when you try to reset your computer from here or from the Windows recovery environment and if you are receiving this error message then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now in order to fix this problem you have to go ahead and install the Windows 10 using media creation tool. So first of all you have to go ahead and create a bootable media. So in order to create a bootable media open any browser. Now before you go ahead and I will before I show you the step let me inform you that whenever you reinstall the operating system or whenever you reset your computer you will lose the data on the computer so just back up your data in case in, in you know in in case you can so go ahead and back up your data and after the backup you can go ahead and try to reset or reinstall the operating system using media creation tool so go ahead and type in media creation tool in google search and then go to microsoft website and then click on download tool now and a exe file will download you have to go ahead and run this exe file open this exe file then click on yes to allow now you need a, a usb flash drive and you need another working computer because right now if you are unable to reset if you are not able to work on your computer then you need a, another computer with active internet connection so make sure that you have another computer which has the internet connection or if you can work on the same computer that's fine you can use that and you can also you also need a, a usb flash drive of 8 gigabytes so just go ahead and make sure that you plug in the usb flash drive to your computer so the usb flash drive should be 8 gigabytes or maybe more than 8 gigabytes so agree to the terms so click on accept Now go ahead and make sure that you connect your USB flash drive to the computer and then you have to go ahead and select the second option which says create installation media for another PC. So select that option then click on next and then select your operating system. So it's Windows 10 64 bit then click on next. Now it's telling me 8 GB of free disk space needed on C drive. So right now I don't have much space. Let me check. So it's 6.993. So let me make some space. So I've deleted some uh, files in C drive and now I have more than 8 gigabytes of space in C drive and my USB flash drive is connected. Now let us go ahead and run the media creation tool once again. Click on yes to allow. Now once again select the second option which says create installation media. Put a check then click on next. Then the operating system is selected then click on next. Select the option which says USB flash drive then click on next. And go ahead and select your USB flash drive. And before you select USB flash drive just make sure that USB flash drive is empty. So in my case, it, I've already, you know, installed the Windows 10 over here. So before you use your USB flash drive, make sure that it's empty. So if, if this is not empty, then make a right click on USB flash drive and then click on format and then click on start. 
and once you format this then you can once the format is done then you can go ahead and select your USB flash drive and then click on next now it will go ahead and create a media so it will go ahead and create bootable media and at the end you will see the finish option so click on finish and once you click on finish you can go ahead and eject your USB flash drive uh, once this is done you will see like this and then make a right click then click on, click on eject and then you can unplug your USB flash drive from your computer now you can go ahead and unplug the USB flash drive from your computer and then go ahead and plug in the USB flash drive to a computer on which you are receiving the error message to which you want to reinstall the operating system so select this and you can go ahead and plug in the USB flash drive to the USB port and then go ahead and start your computer so if the computer is on go ahead and shut down your computer and go ahead and start your computer and then you have to go ahead and select your USB flash drive to install the operating system so I have a Dell computer so in order to go to the boot menu I have to keep on tapping the F12 key but in your case if you have a different brand just make sure that you are tapping the correct key to go to the boot menu so I'll start the computer and in my case it's F12 if I keep on tapping F12 it will take me to the boot menu if you have a Dell computer you can start your computer and as soon as you start the computer you can keep on tapping F12 and here on the screen I have to go ahead and select the USB flash drive so you can go ahead and select your USB flash drive in the list and then hit the enter key on the keyboard and then it will go ahead and show you the installation screen now here it will be asking you to select your language time and currency keyboard input method and then click on next and then you will see the install now option so you have to go ahead and click on install now and it will install the operating system on your computer and then you can go ahead and use your computer now let me inform you once you click on install now all the data on your computer will be lost so before you reinstall the operating system just make sure that you back up your all your data so that you don't lose anything so that will be all this is the way you can go ahead and get rid of the error message so thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel